to viewers. Today's video is a little bit different. So if you love and use power sheets and have noticed the new beautiful coil binding in this year's 2020 power sheets, but you want to still put some calendar pages into your 2019 power sheets for November and December, this video will show you how to do that. First off, I carefully snipped in between each of the coils to remove the pages for the March calendar and for the May calendar. Effectively, I just snipped in between each of the um, holes here to get it out, to pull it out. Then I realized that the holes that are punched in here are the same spacing and the same size as the holes that are punched out with my We Are Memory Keepers cinch. We Are Memory Keepers also makes a standalone smaller punch board. And because the coils are all industry sized with the spacing, uh, the punch board would punch out the same spacing. However, when I went to start to put the pages back in, I realized that they were skewed a little bit. Uh, the first hole was punched a little too far down at the bottom here. Um, and the top hole was cut off the top and I set about to figure out how to make it work. So for this demonstration, I will be using a sheet of white paper to show you how I did it. Now the power sheets come as seven inch sheets by 10 inch sheets. So to get the perfect sizing for this demonstration, I will just simply cut this sheet of paper to size so that you can see exactly how it's going to work. All right, now let's go up to our uh, punch board. First, let me show you what not to do. So I'm going to show you what it looks like when you simply use the punch as it's uh, set up. So that's the first press. And then the second press on a 10 inch piece of paper, you'd remove hole eight. And that's nice and centered. Look at that, looks great, doesn't it? Until you go to put it back in your book. And then look at that, you're off, you're way off. So through a little bit of trial and error, I figured out how much you need to move the paper. But before we do that, you want to reinforce the edges with some washi tape. And the reason why you want to do that is because once you punch it, it leaves some flimsy edges and you don't want the paper to be falling out. So grab some of your favorite washi tape. I'm using some pretty springtime washi tape and I'm simply going to put it along the edge that I want to punch on both the front and the back sides. That gives it some nice reinforcement. Now, you also want to make sure that the washi tape that you use is thick enough so that when it goes over the holes, um, it covers the full edge of the holes. Because you can see like this one, while it's really pretty, um, wouldn't actually cover, completely cover the holes. So you want to make sure that you get washi tape that is more than 3 eighths of an inch 
uh, wide. A uh, half inch wide washi tape would work just fine for this. So now to start off, I'm gonna push this down and I'm gonna line my paper up for the first pass. And I'm going to line the paper up so that it's a quarter of an inch in. Make sure all my pegs are all the way in. And I'm gonna take the first cut. That cuts all the way through the washi. Now for the second cut, I'm going to pull it all the way out. And then I'm going to move it in again a quarter of an inch or four clicks. Now normally this says you'd need to pull out peg eight for a 10 inch wide piece of paper. However, because we moved it the quarter inch, you don't even need to do that. And look at that. Everything lines up perfectly. Now, to get it to go into the planner, I simply take my scissors and I snip in between each of the squares. Now, the easiest way to get that into your planner is to open it to the page that you want to put your new sheet into and use your scissors and simply push down in between each of the little T's to flick that into the binding coils. Now you can do this to put the calendar pages back in that you used to make your November and December calendar pages. Now the other thing that I'm really excited about is I have a separate day planner that I use and I'm considering instead of using it as a whole separate planner book, actually making my pages and putting it into my power sheets because that way I only have one thing to carry around and everything is all in place together. So you can see that this lines up perfectly. How easy was that? Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Check out our other videos and if you find any of them interesting, please hit that subscribe button. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Thank you.